we're back on the roof. Uh, we got two units that are down. This one's not heating, the inducer's running, but uh, I don't feel any heat. And uh, that one over there is number 11, so that one's also not working. I haven't looked at that one yet. I've already dug out my space here, so uh, let's get into it. So here we go. attach this thing to the freaking uh, panel to get to the burner box and then they glue it. I can't get the stupid thing off. So I'm going to take these screws off instead and try it that way. All right, so I got the panel off. Uh, so first things first, just, just to make sure, we're going to go ahead and make sure we're getting a call. So I'm going uh, W1 to C. So I am receiving a call. Uh, I don't hear the fan running, so let's see. All right, so I got a call for fan as well. So let's just make sure that the fan's running. So it's looking like it might be an inducer, or I'm sorry, it might be a bad igniter or something. Uh, we'll find out right now. Yeah, okay, so our blower is not running for some reason. You know, I never understand why they do stuff like this. So all the disconnects are all in this one panel. I feel like they should just be at the unit. <laughs> what if I have to shut the power off all quickly and I gotta run over here and do it? So we're gonna reset it. I'm gonna see what's, why that blower motor is not kicking on. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so it may have been some kind of lockout because I think I heard the blower motor kick on. Yeah. All right. Lower motor is operational. Sweet. Put the panel back on. Okay. So I want to make sure I'm getting voltage. So I have the igniter disconnected and we're getting voltage. Let's go ahead and ohm out that igniter. All right. So we're oming out our igniter and I got uh, 494.9 ohms, right? Not kilo ohms. Yeah. So gas valve just opened. So it was definitely in a lockout. So it looks like we got a bad igniter. So hopefully I have an igniter for this bad boy. All right, so I'm over here at this other one. I'm just kind of scoping it out. So it's acting the same way. So um, I'm gonna assume that it's also a bad igniter because the inducer is running, the blower motor is not running. Um, so yeah, so I'm, if I have two of them, I'm gonna bring both of them up here. Save me a trip. Uh, down the sketchy ladder in the ice and snow. <laughs> so let's see, it's currently uh, 26 degrees right now. That's a little chilly, just a little bit. So holy crap, I actually have one. So this is a train KIT 03033 USA, specifically for these Voyager units with the weird inducer. And look at this, I actually have two of them. Who would have thought? So hopefully the same issue with that one. And that'll save me a trip from going down the sketchy ladder again. So anyway, I got the power cut. So we're going to go ahead and replace it and cycle it up. And hopefully she works. You know what's really crazy about these things? Did you know that this somehow, I have no idea how, uh, which I should probably find out. But this is, it somehow detects the flame through the igniter, which is pretty crazy. Not sure exactly how that works, but uh, yeah. So anyway, let's go ahead and change this out. So when you're taking these off, you gotta be careful because I don't know if you could see that, but the screws are rusted. I've had it where the freaking screw, like the head snapped off. So you just don't use a drill. Use a screwdriver and just mind your torque. Let's see. And you might have to actually use a real driver. I don't know. I don't think this is gonna fit. Yeah, it's too close. All right, let me get this driver. Anyway, let's go ahead and try this one. Yeah, that one's not gonna fit either. Let's try the top first. Okay. Nope. Alright, so we'll try the wrench. This is going to take forever, but we can get it off. So I'm not gonna put you through the pain of watching me do this. So we'll be done once I get it out. 
Alrighty, I got her off and she's white as heck. Um, we'll test the new one and see what the ohm rating is on the new one um, and see if uh, 300 something is normal. But it looks like this has been changed before because usually there's a gasket around there and you can see it's right there on the floor. So yeah. Um, yeah, so the way I got it is I used the wrench to loosen the, the, the two screws. And once it was loose, I was able to kind of just slide this thing down out of the way and I was able to use my nut driver. So I got the top one off and then I slid it up and then got the bottom one off. That's probably the best way to do it. So um, yeah, these these little cheap Amazon Azuno uh, wrenches that I got with these flex things, this part wouldn't fit, but it's got this. These have saved my life so many times. And uh, onto the shameless plug, uh, check out my Amazon store because they are on there. And these are an awesome set to have. Um, they got a hard case and all that good stuff. Um, I take them out of the case and I actually keep all of them in my bag. See? Um, well, you can't see them, but they're all up in there. And uh, they have saved my life so many times. I've pretty much used every single size too, which is crazy. But anyway, enough of the shameless plug-in. But uh, if you want to support the channel, help me out. You want to buy some tools you need anyway, buy them on Amazon through my store. Anyway. Enough of that. So we're gonna go ahead and inst well, we'll ohm out the new one and see what the ohm reading is on that. And then we'll install it and cycle this thing and see if it kicks on. So, All right, yep. so here's our new one. We're ohming it out. And you can see it's at 95.6 ohms. So uh, yeah, something was up with that old one. <laughs> so let's go ahead and install this thing. And just as a comparison, I'm ohming out the old one again and it's at 497. So something's not right with this. So this kit comes with a new gasket, a new metal like holder thing and screws. I highly suggest you use all the new stuff because as you saw, those old screws are just completely rusted. And um, yeah, so you see this is the, well, is that, is that the old one? Yeah, I think it's the old one. Come on, focus. But yeah, you can see the whole thing's rusted out. I've had it where I've unscrewed this with just a screwdriver and the freaking head snapped off. And you can imagine how fun that was. Um, so be careful when you take them off, just, you know, don't use a drill because you'll probably snap it off and just take your time with it. It's just because if you snap it off, it's a total pain. All right, so we're going to go ahead and carefully put that in there. We're putting in our first screw. And I suggest you use a magnetic driver. And... I think this is made out of stainless steel or something because it doesn't stick very well to my magnetic driver here. So we got it started. Um, I'm not going to screw it in all the way because I want a little bit of wiggle room. Now we're going to go ahead and do the bottom one. And we'll go ahead and plug her in. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, power it up and call for heat and see what happens. All right, just call for heat. See what happens. Did not like. I did see the United did kick on. Pulled that off. I got nothing. So either this thing is frozen solid or Someone didn't pay the gas bill. I'm hoping it's just frozen salt. So when you pull off this cap, that's the adjustment. So if it's frozen, I might be able to just free it up. See if I can get some gas. Okay, yeah. So yeah, this guy's frozen solid. So yeah, if you just kind of move it around a little bit, sometimes that'll free it up. Gas is on. Let's try this again. Lighter is on. Let's see if we get it. Ignition. So we're going to check the uh, regulator on that other one first. I still stand by the igniter. That igniter needs to be replaced. Is, I mean, 400 ohms, like that's not going to be okay. <laughs> so um, anyway, let's get this thing back together and we'll go check that sucker over there. All right, so we're at the other one. So it's locked out. Blower motor's not running. Inducer's running. Uh, igniter is not taking on. I got a call for fan, I got a call for heat, so we're gonna go reset it. Um, this thing's covered in snow, so we'll go ahead and get it cleaned up. We'll start with the uh, regulator first. 
power's reset. Igniter's not blinking no more. Uh, thermostat is probably on a system weight. It sounds like the blower kicked on. Let me see. Yep. All right, we'll call for heat. Let's see if our igniter kicks on. Yes. All right, let's see if it kicks on. So this thing might be frozen. All right, she kicked on that time. Oh, that one's easy. So yeah, it looks like uh, we had a bad igniter on that one and a frozen uh, regulator. And this one looks like it was probably just a frozen regulator, just clearing the, clearing the snow off of it made a big difference. So I know you guys are gonna tell me, tear me up in the comments saying, oh, why'd you change the igniter, blah, blah, blah. Well, hey, tell me, is it really supposed to be 400 and something ohms? In fact, I'm gonna cut this one off and we're gonna test this one, see what the ohms are on this one. All right, so I'm moving it out. This one's at 63, so that's a lot better than 400 and something. So this igniter is fine, so we'll leave it. So yeah, that proves it. That other one should have been, you know, 60 to 90-ish somewhere, not 490 something. So anyway, <laughs> so give me nice comments, please. So anyway. so anyway, hopefully this helps you out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment Tim what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And don't forget, if you like the tools I use, visit my Amazon store. Links in the description below. Thanks for watching.